I can remember the day that the photograph was taken and us looking out the window. Um, and the way it was, we just thought it was some other friend of uh, family that, that we were still to meet because um, we had never heard of Paul Strand. Land of bent grass, land of barley, land where everything is plentiful, where young men sing songs and drink ale. If I had as much as two suits of clothes, a pair of shoes, and my fare in my pocket, I would sail for Uist. It was in 1954, and I was one of the youngest ones in the uh, Paul Strand's book. And um, I was only four at the time. It had been snowing, and snow had melted. So I was outside testing out my new welly boots, and this man comes round and takes my photo. Mary, the youngest of the family, Mrs John, her brother, and myself. I'm just kicking round the curtain. I would have been ten and John would have been eight. We must have got brushed up. We've all got our hair combed and brushed. I think I was fascinated looking through the window. Uh, I was only speaking Gaelic at the time and that was a bit of a hindrance, I suppose. I can remember him putting this black cloak over his, himself and I was scared of the man because I was young at the time, so he put this head square round my head so that nothing was moving of my hair, seeing I had long hair at the time. I am the third youngest of 11. It was nice being a member of a big family. There's one of the old neighbours and um, I think the, the, he had even her hands in the book there, so they really looked old and weather bitten. They did all the work in these days. Every housewife had the uniform of an overall on to keep the other clothes they were wearing during the day clean. It was a huge camera, I think, you, you would have had. I don't know how you must managing to get all these stuff around, especially if they were walking most of the time. He was a man who would take you in the boat to Eriske. I think he went to Barra as well. But he was renowned to be a great seaman. If it was difficult to get across, he was the man to get you there. The grandparents there in the photo of here, uh, Angus and Kit McLean, would have been taken on the same day. They weren't old, but as Paul Strand himself says, the weather was showing on their faces. They were almost living with us, like every old parents were at the time. Well, the houses were all thatched and uh, it was over a hundred years old when I lived in it anyway. And the small windows and such of uh, the marrow that was taken off the machar, uh, they were nice and cosy and warm. There was only the three rooms in them anyway. The electricity and water, they had come by the late 40s to us. It was a blessing when the electric, I suppose, came on the islands. There was very little money and very little work of any kind other than crafting and that was all that was going on. As soon as you were able to stand on your own two feet, you had to make your way uh, away to the mainland, yeah. It's looking back on a totally different era because of the way he looked at the world and thought about the photographs in South Uist. He made sure he was going to get the record of the culture as it was. I treasure this book really for the ones that are in it. It brings back memories.